and it sort of becomes a waiting game and as as I'm watching Prairie's point of view. He he just has control of Mega, he knows the burden's on Demaya to come and engage him, so he'll just sit there and wait. Demaya trying to get a little sneaky with a uh, long distance rail into Mega. Demaya hits a rail from SSG. And Demaya's decided to try and enter the room. Oh, and he hits another nice rocket. Curry has to uh, fall back, but now he's coming right back. Oh, a nice rail by Demaya. Curry at four health. That was huge. Curry barely escapes the upper rocket without taking a rail. Oh, but he does oh, yeah. take a rail at the upper rocket itself. And Demai is able to chase him around the bottom of the uh, shotgun room and kills him with chain in the open area. Curry's going for rail again. And Curry fakes his escape to uh, this open area from underground, but backs out and he's trying to rail Demaya. Hits him once, but Demaya's still healthy enough to even take a second. But he doesn't even hit him a second time. Score is 3-2 in favor of Demaya over Curry. This is map 5. 6 minutes, 7 seconds remaining. We got Chain versus Hyper. I definitely like the Chain over Hyper. And Demai is able to finish Curry off with a super shotgun and get a spawn kill. Curry makes the uh, predictable uh, jump to the lower rocket, picking up the uh, armor slugs, or the rail slugs. But he's able to get out without taking any damage and putting a rocket on Demaya. Now he's going to retake the mega health room. Maya just backing off. If, if Furry gets the next yellow armor and then heads for rail, this could get very interesting. He's got the next yellow armor, and I think that's what he's gonna... Yep, he's heading for rail. Rail makes things so much easier. Demaya's got a hunch that he went to rail, but he cannot... he knows now that he can't engage him. He was too, too much out of position. Now he's going up the uh, elevator. They're both going to meet. Rocket versus chain. Furry doing a lot of chain damage. Maya down to 72 health. Furry chasing him all the way around from upper rocket, and he's going to enter mega health room. So Maya is still able to keep that three point lead and not uh, take a kill yet. And a uh, little deja vu as Demaya goes right back through up a rocket again. That mega health's gonna be coming soon. Oh, a crucially missed rail. If Furry hit that rail, could have easily finished Demaya off. He would have been 12 health. But then he just hit another one, and he's got chain. He will finish this kill off. 5-3. to three. Only a 2-point lead for Demaya, with 3 minutes 36 seconds remaining. If Furry wins this game, he is our champion. And another quick chain kill by Furry. Only a 1-point lead for Demaya, and Furry has every gun and complete control. Demaya is stuck in a bad situation at underground. Gets railed, and it looks like that's gonna be uh... Oh, and he doesn't even do the long distance rail, he just decides to switch the chain and kill him. 
he knew that Maya was gonna stutter step. Maya spawns up on that uh, upper ledge, grabs some uh, armor shards, but gets nailed, so he's down to 8 health. Picks up some health, so he's up to 33 now, after the fall damage. I think the Maya wants to take it as slowly as possible, just to keep this game at a, as a, as a tie game and try and push it into overtime and maybe just pull something off, but... Curry hasn't really been on a mission looking for him just yet. Yeah, I think something near uh, 1 minute left or 1 minute 30 seconds left is when he's going to start uh, engaging. But all this time has passed, and Demai was able to go from about 40 health to 88 health, 70, 70, 74 armor. The only health that he could get at that point, uh, he didn't want to risk himself for the 50 health, where the, the 20 on top of the uh, uh, ledge, the hyper ledge, and the 20 uh, by the regular shotgun. He's in the Mega Room. I don't know that he has control of it, but he's in the Mega Room. Um, that's his chain. Oh, wow. That might be it place. right there. Oh, he's even yeah. saying GG prematurely. 6-5. Demaya made a really gutsy decision to try and drop down the chain gun and rocket jump out. But uh, Furry was com completely prepared for it and chained the crap out of him. And now he's just finishing, finishing it up. Still got a minute left. If, uh, if Curry uh, screws up bad here, then it's possible to clean him up, but um, it's unlikely at this point. Very Not unlikely. He's just gonna run away and uh, force Damien to either uh, wait it out and, and lose, or engage him and, and put himself at risk. Oh, and a nice flick rail by Curry. And that pretty much seals it. Yeah, there's only 30 seconds left. I'm not sure why Demai is still trying to play a little defensively. He's just gonna have to go all out. And that completely seals it. Eight yeah, to there's five. no way to come back. And Puri has control of the map with 17 seconds remaining. Demai has stopped moving. Oh, blaster! March. <laughs> And we can officially say that we have a European Delete champion in Puri. His first uh, gold medal, we can say, since season one. Congratulations to Puri. Very good games, uh, especially the last two on Rage and P2DM1. Very close and intense. So we have a champion, and that is the end of the coverage of the Tasty Spoons Outcast. With the EDL final between Asia and Perry, Perry taking the championship.